By the seventh century, the first monasteries were spreading into Northern England. In 634, a team of monks from the Irish community at Iona Abbey founded the holy island of Lindisfarne. Led by Aidan of Ireland, the monastery at Lindisfarne became the base for Christian evangelism into Anglo-Saxon England. By the early 8th century, Lindisfarne was also an important scriptorium where monks hand copied and illustrated the biblical texts. The monastery is known for the famous Lindisfarne Gospels, an illuminated manuscript of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, now housed at the British Library in London. On June 8, 793, the holy island of Lindisfarne became famous for another reason. When Vikings raided and destroyed the entire monastery complex, the Viking invasion here at Lindisfarne marked the beginning of a series of attacks that threatened to destroy all that Christianity had gained in Britain over the prior centuries. Monasteries and churches were plundered and priests fled for their lives. For the next 100 years, it looked as if violent paganism was once again on the march through Britain. Then in 878, Alfred the Great, the Christian king of Wessex, started to turn things around with his victory over the Vikings. Once the Viking threat subsided, Alfred championed a new system of Christian learning to reach the common people in the rural villages. Alfred believed that the gospel of Jesus Christ was for all people, not just the richer elites. By the 10th century, English lords were providing small chapels on their land where villagers could use the services of a priest. This sowed the seeds of the parish system. Then during the 11th century, it was the overthrow of England by William the Conqueror of Normandy that cemented the role of the church in England. William implemented widespread building projects where old Saxon churches made of wood were replaced by new Norman cathedrals made of stone. 